Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing by, I tend to talk about a lot of different things. Some of them are quite controversial and I just put my spin on it. Now, normally I talk on topics where I've had a video or some information two or three times. To me, that tells me that people are really concerned and they'd really like my view on it. So the video that's going around is this one by Lakeith Smith. He's the 15-year-old black boy who was sentenced to 65 years when he was 15, back in 2015. And the, the video is comparing his sentence to a white boy who, where a death was involved on the, and he was seen on the same day in the same court by the same judge. And so I'm going to let you see the video and then I'm going to give my two pence like I normally do. Crashes through a train and catches on fire. His girlfriend is in the passenger seat. She dies in the fire. This is who he is talking about. This is Wesley Phelps. He's 28 years old. He was on drugs. He had priors for burglary and assault in a minor. He led police on a high-speed chase, crashed his car, and his girlfriend died. And Judge Sybil Reynolds gave him three years. But on the same day that Judge Sybil Reynolds gave him three years, he gave Lakeith Smith 65 years. Lakeith is 15 years old. Him and some other kids were breaking into an unoccupied dwelling. The cops showed up. The kids ran. The cops shot a Dante Washington, which is Lakeith Smith's best friend, shot a Dante in the back three times. Due to Alabama's felony murder law, Lakeith Smith was sentenced to 65 years for the murder of a Dante, even though he didn't hold the weapon or shoot anybody. This happened on the same day, in the same court, by the same judge. 28-year-old who's actually responsible for somebody dying. 15-year-old who's actually not responsible for anybody dying. Three years, 65 years. Okay. If you can't see the problem here. He's just going to talk a bit more about that and he's calling it, saying it's racist. But of course, um, it is. But the thing is, is that they can argue that it's not racist because crimes are hierarchical. And even though we look on a crime, we think it's all the same. The police, they view crimes differently. For example, theft of a car is not considered as serious as theft of a house, residential burglary. Residential burglary is considered one of the most severe types of burglary. Then you can argue manslaughter, which is how his partner died when he was in that speed, when he was speeding away from police, is not the same as felony murder, which is considered first-degree murder, even though Lakeith Washington wasn't guilty of pulling the trigger. The thing is with felony murder is that it has an accomplice element. So that means if you're committing a crime and somebody dies, whether it's the police that kill that person or not, or kills several persons, you can be charged with that murder because that murder took place while you were committing a crime. Now, I don't understand how that's fair, but that is why he got 65 years. It's now been reduced to 30 years, but 30 years for robbing and burglary is still a hell of a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> So I just wanted to take you through like the technical aspects of it. Um, so you can see whether or not it makes sense. The petition seems to have worked in that he got a reduction for 55 years. Well, it was 65 years in when he was 15. Then in 2019, they reduced it to, they reduced it by 10 years because they couldn't have 
um, the crimes um, punished consecutively. So they shaved off 10 years. So it ended up being 55 years. And now, I don't know if it's because of the appeal or what, it's now 30 years. He served eight, he's now 23. Technically, if you're looking at the types of crimes that he did, it's still no more than eight years in total. If you look technically at the crimes um, Wesley Phelps, the white guy, did, he could, if the if the judge, which was was totally lenient and wanted to give him the minimal sentence, the minimal sentence is three years. So it seemed like the judge gave the white guy a minimal sentence possible, and the black guy almost the maximum sentence possible because you can get life imprisonment for a felony murder. So I hope that kind of, that's a summary. So I'm just going to go through it with what I've written so I don't miss out anything. So um, a video has gone viral about the sentence given to Lakeith Smith, who was sentenced to 65 years in prison when he was 15 years old in 2015 for a combination of murder, burglary and theft convictions. The 65 years was made up 30 years for murder 15 years for burglary and 10 years each for two theft convictions. Felony murder carries a punishment of life in prison. It is also classified as first degree murder, murder with intent. But this particular felony murder charge has an accomplice element where a defendant taking part in a crime can be charged with murder if the death occurs during the crime. Felony murder means it is considered a capital offence, punishable by several years to life imprisonment, and in some cases, the death penalty if available. <clears throat> While the law in Alabama states it has an accomplice element, if Lakeith did not pull the trigger, he should not be punished to the full extent of the law, in my opinion. And 30 years should be knocked off. Well, they've knocked off 25. So it looks like they've knocked off the murder element. But even then, the burglary charges, the sentences for them is extremely high. But anyway, so... I think in a felony murder, since there's an accomplice element, if they don't know who committed the murder or who killed the person, then I can understand you um, punish that person. If you want to give them 30 years for the murder, you do that. But when you know there was a police officer that made that call and shot and murdered that boy, because whether he was running off for whatever ever reason, I think that's a different ball game. Because what the police can do that they can take advantage of that law and call it felony murder when a when a teenager has just done a minor crime, which I don't understand how. I mean, I know in the UK we have something similar. You can be accomplice. Um, I forget what they call it guilty by association. So they have something like that, but I don't think that covers murder in the same way it does in Alabama, in the US, United States of America. And I think that kind of law is totally unfair. And it's, it's open to exploitation. Anyway. There was no evidence even to show that Lakeith was armed. We are now learning about this trial in the UK because a video, the one I showed you, and a petition, and it's currently got 733,000 signatures, has been organised, or was organised, calling to free Lakeith, who is now 23 years old. The video compared Lakeith's sentence to a 28-year-old white man, Wesley Phelps, who was on drugs. Like I said, you can get up to one year for 
actually being in possession of restricted substances or illegal substances. And that's up to a year. So even if they gave him six months, well, Phelps, six months for that, that would just be six months. Um, the previous conviction for sexually assaulting a minor, that carries two years to 19 years, depending on the degree of the assault. Now, supposing the assault was minor, that would give him two years. If you're looking for the least possible. And then the car theft that you can get six months to seven years. I guess it depends on who it is. If it's a white bloke, they might get six months. If it's a black bloke, they might get seven years. So I mean, depending on how they want to play their cards, how they want to charge individuals, they have such a wide berth for similar crimes and they can use their discretion or not use it depending on who the person is or how sympathetic or empathetic the judge is. So even a police chase, I thought that would be quite severe. But in the UK, evading the police, although there's an unlimited fine, is there's only three to nine penalty points and possibly a prison sentence, like I said, depending on who it is. This law is crafted to disadvantage some and advantage others. So you can't even put the police chase in in um, Wesley Phelps' list of crimes because that doesn't carry a prison sentence. Well, it doesn't have to. It's not compulsory. And then you've got the dangerous driving element, which in the UK is the most serious motoring offence in the UK. And even then, you'll be banned for 12 months from driving with a possibility of being sentenced to prison. So if that's the same in America, he wouldn't be, Phelps wouldn't have been charged for that either. So you can see how, with a lenient judge, why he got three years. You've got somebody who's having a bad day and doesn't like black people. They just go to the other extent. Instead of the minimal sentence, they go to the maximum sentence as possible. And that seems to be what's happened here. And that's why they're kicking up a stink about it. So Phelps got the minimum sentence possible for the crime in the same court on the same day by the same judge, who also convicted Lakeith Smith with the maximum sentence. And they reckon it's because his lawyer failed to present evidence that could have led to a shorter sentence. There's always a reason or an excuse, whatever you want to call it. His co-defendants, Lakeith's co-defendants, also under 18, there were two 17-year-olds. One was served, no, there was two, there was two under 18s. One was given a 17-year-old sentence. No, sorry. There was two um, under 18s. Both were given a 17-year-old sentence and both served just 14 months. And one received a 28-year sentence, but it didn't say. But I think he had previous felony charges. So they didn't say if his charges were reduced. So Lakeith's lawyers are trying to get a 32 motion filed to get the sentence reconsidered. I don't know if that's pre the 30-year, the shaving off of the 25 years. Is it 25 that they not got? Yeah, I don't know if this is prior because this is three days old. I believe um, the petition needed to be signed by the 21st of March. Yeah, I think it was the 21st of March it needed to be signed by because I know when it was sent to me, just missed the deadline. But, so I don't know if this 30 years that's been shaved off is was as a result of the petition. So, um, in 2019, I think I said this, 10 years were shaved off because the appeals court ruled that one of the theft convictions and burglary convictions could not be served consecutively. So he's now served eight years of his original sentence 
and we accept that the Keith was engaged in criminal activities, but so was Wesley Phelps. The issue seems to be that crime is hierarchical, and I don't know if this is deliberate. So charges of possession, any controlled substance face penalties of up to one year in prison. Theft of a car is not considered as severe as theft from a residential property. Manslaughter is not considered as severe as first degree murder. Like I said, even though Lakeith didn't pull the trigger. And yeah, and so Lakeith was found of felony murder guilty of felony murder by association by being in that in a in a crime scene when somebody dies so he takes that on he's also found guilty of first degree residential burglary which is supposed to be one of the most severe types of burglary and so while burglary and theft of property can be played down when comparing one type of theft to another, it can have serious consequences. So teenagers who think about committing such a crime can find themselves serving between six years to ten years, depending on the circumstances, or less than that, depending on who you are. So technically, for the actual crime Lakeith committed, which was theft and burglary, He's actually done that time. Eight years would cover the time for those two actual crimes, which is why the petition was going around to free him. So Lakeith Smith's got another 25 years shaved off. I don't know, like I said, if it's as a result of the petition. So now he's serving 30 years in prison instead of 55, which is still too long considering his actual crime and considering he was 15 years old. So. I hope that um, gives rise to some debate, communication, and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.